Today I'm going to show you how to operate a hammer drill, so let's begin. Here's what my hammer drill looks like, so it's pretty much like a regular drill. But what makes a hammer drill special is that in addition to rotating, it also pulsates. So think of it as a mini jackhammer. It's quite formidable and it's also quite heavy, so it has an additional removable handle so you can hold on to it firmly. To go from hammer mode to normal mode, just flip the switch. The side with the hammer is hammer mode. If you get your drill in a kit like I did, you'll have many different bits at your disposal. So some of the bits are good to use on metal, some on wood, some on masonry, i.e. concrete, and I'll be using a concrete one today. And when using a hammer drill or any power tool really, you should wear protective eyeglasses. So I'm about to start drilling. So I've got my drill bit here and this bit here is made for masonry and you'll need that if there's a concrete wall. So of course this is drywall here but behind it is concrete so we need to use a masonry drill bit. And make sure you have the right size. Here I'm using a 5 um, 532nd size drill bit for a 316 size screw. So make sure you have that. Also don't forget to put your protective glasses on because a lot of debris, there's a possibility of debris coming into your eyes and you don't want that. And also if you're really good, you probably should use a, um, some earplugs because this can be quite loud. And um, just an, a note again that a hammer drill is much more intense than a regular drill. Um, it's heavier and it's, it's more effective. Um, and consequently you want to be smart before you use it. So, you know, I, I know you're all smart people, so don't do anything like, you know, have a glass of wine or have cold and flu medicine beforehand because you need to be in control because you don't want to hurt yourself, okay? Here comes the fun part. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, yeah, sometimes it takes a lot of energy. I, I actually really hate using the hammer drill, but you just have to keep on going. If you need to take a little break, give yourself a break because I'm actually kind of hot right now. I should open the window. But it's not, uh, it takes a lot of effort. So be mindful of that. I'm gonna open the window. Okay, let's go again. Oh, come on. I had a couple of spots on the wall to drill as well. I happen to have a few pipe cleaners knocking around, so I use them to clean out the holes. So now we're done with the drilling and it's time to put the hammer drill away. So we want to take the drill bit out of the chuck first, but before we do that, we want to make sure that the power source is disconnected. And most hammer drills, or you know, the non-hardcore hammer drills like mine, um, are corded because it does take a lot of energy, so most of them are corded. So you want to unplug it from the power source, or if you've got a battery operated one, just make sure that the battery's out so um, you don't have to worry about it accidentally turning it on and hurting yourself, right? So I've done that already. And uh, now it's time to take the drill bit out of the chuck 
Um, sometimes it's a bit difficult throughout the process of actually drilling the hole. The, the drill bit can get really wound up, and really kind of stuck in the chuck. And by loosening it up, by turning it left, doesn't really do too much. So what you want to use in that case is a key that comes along with the hammer drill. Sometimes, most times it's located here at the bottom um, towards the, the base or the handle here. It might be in the actual container that you bought it from. So what you want to do is get the key and put it in this little hole, this little hole that goes in here. And you want to crank it lefty loosey to get it loose. So I'm turning it left, and just loosening it up. Turn a couple of times, and now it just comes out, okay? So I can close this back up, not close it up, doesn't really make a difference. Put this back where it came from so I can find it the next time. Put everything back in their corresponding places and we're done with our hammer drill. So again, thank you for watching. I see Melanie. I hope you learned something new with this hammer drill business. And remember, always be safe when doing this. Don't be under the influence of any alcohol or any prescription drugs or anything like that. And have fun with your DIY home improvement projects, okay? Bye guys.